listening to Anthony, Anthony on the virus. Serious XM. <laughs> You know, just recently they found a new species of chimpanzee in the Congo. A gigantic chimpanzee that's over six feet tall. It's really? called the Bondo Ape. The locals have two different names for chimpanzees. They have what they call the tree beaters and the lion killers. And the lion killers are these gigantic chimpanzees. They're like six feet tall. They get to be like 400 pounds. They sleep on the ground because they don't give a fuck. They don't have to sleep in trees. You know, people <laughs> like your building, like when you, we, 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 we all come from chimpanzees, obviously. When, and we, people, we always have our master bedroom upstairs. And that's from our chimpanzee heritage. <laughs> that's what that's from. We, we stay upstairs to protect ourselves. High just ground, like, yeah. yeah, just like chimps do. They sleep in trees to protect themselves from predators. These other chimps are so badass, they nest on the ground. They're fucking loked. They kill lions. Like the locals that live in the Congo say these things kill fucking lions. Huh. And they walk upright. That's the crazy thing. If you look it online, look up a uh, giant mystery ape. It's called the Bondo ape. It's in a part of the Congo called Bili. Kind of hard to get him into those coveralls and smoking a cigarette. <laughs> no, it's not happening. Yeah, no, hard to get him in that little the BJ in the bear. outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a, there's a photo. There's a guy named Carl Amon, who is a wildlife photographer from, from Switzerland, who's dedicated a huge chunk of his life life tracking down this gigantic chimpanzee and he's got all these photographs of it and one of the crazy things about it is the thing stands upright it doesn't walk with its feet outward and it doesn't walk with its uh, like its back parallel to the ground it walks upright and it's like got long arms and it's it's a fucking freaky looking giant God chimp damn they have a, a photograph of one that they shot and killed too and it's like next to these two guys and they're standing next to him and it just dwarfs them it's fucking enormous is it a new picture one of those old times they have one of those too <laughs> though. when they have those old guys here's what i bagged the dinosaur <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like a guy in a pith helmet and a black and white picture and holding something up a safari they, helmet yeah safari helmet could be a monkey could be a fish <laughs> they do have an old photograph of some huge fucking Fucking elephant gun he shot him with. They have an old photograph of one that they believe is a Bondo ape that was from like 1920, and they always thought this was just some freaky gorilla that someone killed. Yeah. But now they believe it's this 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 gigantic chimpanzee. God damn. And they have they like they're holding it. Two guys are holding it up, and it's bigger than both of them, and it's a chimp. The Congo is like first of all, the Congo has only been around for 2,000 years. I mean, the Congo is one of the weirdest parts of the world because it's one of the 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 rare places where you can see evolution happening right now. There's a, an animal called the diker that's an antelope that swims under. Underwater. Oh, that's the chimp. See that, that the fucking like thing is standing up? Picture. No, that's, that's real, bro. Those, those that's a camera trap. Pictures. Wow. That's, See, the other one, that's that's the, the other one is the one that they killed. The backyard. Yeah. But in the Congo, there's an animal called uh, a diker, which is an antelope that swims underwater. For a hundred yards, it can swim underwater, and it eats fish. It's a fucking antelope. Because what happened was the Congo used to be grasslands, but the climate changed, and all of a sudden it became a rainforest, and all these plains animals like rhinos and elephants, they all got trapped in this fucking forest, and they had to adapt. And they're adapting right now, and you can see it. There's all kinds of crazy shit. Like, well, like there's fish that come out of fucking water and walk on land to the next water. I mean, that's evolution. That's what we supposedly did, right? People came out of the ocean, they right. walked on land. You can fucking see that in the Congo. It's happening right now. You don't need Adam and those. Eve. You know Adam I mean? and Eve. <laughs> and it's only happening over the last 2,000 years. Eve made Adam eat the apple. I thought it was the lollipops. <laughs> Joe's half asleep. He's watching one show on the Congo, and then it switched into I a show on evolution. Face. He put them both together with the pot lollipops. <laughs> <laughs> it's like revision of Rogan history. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God. I'm going to get Joe Pterodactyl Rogan. and Orville and Wilbur Wright strap themselves to this fucking thing. <laughs> I want to get Joe Rogan basic cable. <laughs> channel he's watching. Dude, they got these fucking snakes, right? They can fly. Right? They fucking, they coil up and it's like a helicopter and they fucking land on you. Bam! Uh, on Rogan Cable. Hold yeah. on, Ant. I'm going to go to the phones. What's up, guys? Yeah, I would love to respect Joe. How the fuck do you know all this stuff? I swear... Uh, do you want to the Discovery Channel 24 hours a day? Dude, I got the cushiest job ever. Fear Factor is a part-time job, literally. I work three days a week. I don't even work eight hours a day. And nice. I smoke pounds of weed. <laughs> Dude, seriously, I smoke the shit that the government drops off in the ghetto to keep the black man down. Instead of eating, you watch the TV and you learn all this. You watch yeah, a lot of Discovery. I watch a lot of, uh, a lot, but I also read a lot. Uh, I just, I get fascinated by weird subjects, like a lot of animal shit. Because I'm just fascinated by humans in general and the fact that humans are mostly animals. It's like, people don't want to admit that people came from monkeys, but meanwhile, they've mapped the human genome. We're 99% fucking chimpanzee. Like, at what percentage do we have to admit we're a fucking 
fucking monkey. Does it have to be a hundred? I mean, if you ate a sandwich, it was 99% shit and 1% ham. Would you call it a ham sandwich? <laughs> you know? <laughs> We're fucking monkeys, man. And it's just fascinating that we we color ourselves with with cultural traditions and language and all this bullshit when at the bottom line we're really just a complicated form of bacteria wait wait let's go to a phone call yeah i'm a primatologist there's no such thing as a as a bondo ape you're a fucking idiot go online and look it up you're a what what do you do it's a new discovery you're a primatologist well look it up you're not current pay attention go online and look it up um yeah this is student. yeah you've learned some shit from the call when did you graduate I have a PhD. From when 2000. did you graduate? When? From 2000. Yeah, when was the last time you got online and researched primates? Have you ever looked <laughs> at all, any of the new discoveries? Primates. Have you looked at any of Carl Amon's work? Yeah, I've been. To what are you laughing I've at? Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? I'll tell you why you're laughing because you don't have a point. So you're trying to. Oh, you're ridiculous. <laughs> That's. Rid I have a PhD. Meanwhile, there's all sorts of photographs of this this primate. This gigantic chimpanzee. Not only that, it's on yeah, National that's... Geographic, stupid. NationalGeographic.com. CNN.com, stupid. No, 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 no. There's bones. There's tissue samples. There's hair. There's fecal matter. There's all sorts okay. of different things. Now, they've mapped the DNA of this animal already. Oh, please. What do you mean? Oh, please, stupid. You so haven't true. paid attention to it at all. These are legitimate scientists and primatologists <laughs> that are in the Congo studying this thing. And you don't know. Yet you're calling up. You've done zero research on this. You haven't looked into it at all. You're telling me we know all the animals that are in the world? Are you telling me we know all the animals in this gigantic, several thousand mile long, intense rainforest? We've mapped that There's out. There's another fake chimpanzee out there. No, it's not a fake, stupid. It's, <laughs> it's not a fake. Listen, they have skulls. Listen to me. They have skulls. They have hair. They have fecal samples. They have photographs. They have a dead one. Okay? Yeah. Bye. Not fringe. CNN. Okay? National Geographic. All these different legitimate scientific resources. Go look it up. Bye. You'd okay. like to prove that, wouldn't yeah. you? Get to <laughs> National Geographic. Silly. Listen to her. Oh, I have a PhD. I mean, why do people argue about something that they haven't looked into at all? Why wouldn't she, as a primatologist, go, whoa, for real? Let me look into that. Holy shit. Well, well, that makes sense. I mean, how could they possibly know all the primates? I mean, couldn't there possibly be another one? But no. <laughs> Where was she from? I'm a primatologist. <laughs> Those are fringe sites. Like National Geographic is a fucking fringe site. CNN is a fucking fringe site. <laughs> she didn't, that's what it angers me about people. They think that they know without even looking into it. That is insane. Oh, I have a <laughs> vagina. You're listening to Anthony.